Hi everybody, this is Sarah Adams and it's a powerful day. Um, October 29th, Thursday. Powerful day in the cosmos, powerful day of realization for me in this vehicle is coming the real recognition of, well I'll start with this phrase, to heal the wound we must illuminate the anatomy of the scar. So, to flesh out this statement, just to understand that the main wound in humanity occurred in the messenger RNA, where beings that did not want, did not want Christ consciousness to come to the planet installed implants to keep the two sides of the RNA away from each other, which we call gender splitting technology um, in the group that I'm involved with. Um, Lisa Renee calls it gender splitting technology, which blocks the ability of the RNA to unite with itself and complete protein synthesis. And if we understand that the synthesis of proteins inside that messenger RNA are what create the house for the light body so that our higher frequencies can actually occupy in this dimension. We can see that this would be the target of forces to prevent um, the Christ consciousness from coming to the earth. They would want to target the architects, the site of the architect, and that is the messenger RNA. And all these technical details are not that important, but just to understand that in order to return to our divine human blueprint, the, or the real work of the day is to bring in these validation, this, this affirmation of our divine innocence, our divine beauty, our divine connection to the Mother, Father, Holy Mother, Father, outside of this dimension, so that we, in these human bodies know that we are loved, know that we are connected, know that we are in original innocence, see that we are a part of it all. So these affirmations of love, of belonging, of validation, of connection are what begin to replace, you could call it, the imposter blueprint with the divine blueprint that God, Goddess, intended for our beautiful DNA RNA and so I'm realizing that my greatest passion is to create circles groups where we can participate in eye gazing and validating each other with these the medicine of love of seeing each other remember in Avatar when they say I see you very, very, very important. And we think of, you know, when you're in the ICU, you're in critical condition. It's, it's interesting that they use those words, ICU. And so it's returning to the critical condition of separation consciousness and saying, I see you. I know you. I love you. I want you. Your name is written in the book of God. You're an integral part of the whole. You are an authentic, a beautiful, precious chord in the symphony of life. All of these affirmations are what heal us from the lie, the lie of self-hatred, the lie of gender splitting, and the truth of the sacred marriage of self-love, right, that is the masculine and feminine coming together and then being able to synthesize the proteins that are the house of our higher vibrational identities until we can synthesize so many proteins along the strip of that RNA that we become a holy cathedral. The body, the structure becomes a holy sacred cathedral in which the liquid light plasma body of the Christ can fully occupy in earth. And so, that's a mouthful, but 
the basic premise, I guess, or announcement today is that I really realize that that's a big part of my work in the world is to bring groups together to participate in these self-love activation circles to help everyone return to their original divine blueprint and just inseminate this sunshine of love and validation over all the earth until fear has no more reign and love is all that reigns supreme <laughs> so just a little installment getting more clear you know it's been a 31 year journey to find out how I can intersect with this dimension and create financial abundance and truly give what I came to give to humanity and to my own human soul that is very much at the effect of this core fragmentation and um, negative implants. So as I bring this to anyone in my life, I bring it to my own being that is receiving this sunshine of spring. May we all blossom. May all the inner children in everybody on this earth come to know that they are loved and connected. And may all the masculine aspects and the feminine aspects of every human body be able to come together in love as lovers to blossom the field evermore and return to our highest potential. Thank you so much for watching. Many blessings. It's almost Halloween. I guess it's October 30th today. Not 29th. October 30th. Okay. Bye.